If you want to see how we repaired this um, little Ethan Allen double decker side table, uh, stick around because that's what we're going to do today. Well, welcome to another Memphis Monday, Mem Memphis Monday uh, 173. Uh, today we're going to be fixing an Ethan Allen side table. Um, it's about 52 or 3 years old. It's a uh, solid maple uh, and it's got some pretty interesting features. Let's go over there, let's knock off the chit chat, go over there and take a look at it and see what, uh, what the job scope is. What we're working on today is <clears throat> this uh, Ethan Allen d uh, double topped uh, end table. It was uh, built on February 17th, 1965. It's solid maple. The color of it is a, a color the Ethan Allen company called uh, nutmeg. This uh, design is it, it's in a group of furniture they called American Traditional. Uh, what we're going to do is the legs are loose. These little buttons are all missing. Um, the finish is uh, wrecked and uh, we're going to be restoring this today. Let's uh, flip it over and uh, take a look at it. One of the things we're going to do is we're going to refinish the, at least the top here. Uh, it's got a lot of scratches in it where the finish is uh, scratched off and wore off. And um, I think my friend would like me to, uh, um, you know, pretty this up a little bit. One of the things Ethan Allen learned is that branding makes a big difference. So. This table is actually branded with a hot iron right here, Ethan Allen. It, it gives the uh, the kind of furniture it is, American traditional, and it even tells the material is made out of solid maple and or birch. Here's a, another mark. Remember I came up with that date, February 17th, 1965. That is uh, stenciled on there. And here's the serial number of the piece, 208365. Some of these pieces are actually signed uh, with an additional brand. This one wasn't. But it did have, it does have a two stenciled right here, which is probably the, uh, the code for the uh, quality inspector uh, that inspected it on February 17, 1965. Now let me show you something really neat. Well, look, all the markings on this thing, this is the thing I like the most. This right here is a glove print. And I don't know if it shows up on the camera, but well, when they, they sprayed the finish on here, uh, the, the finisher actually put his hand right there. He had a glove on. You can tell he had a glove on and put his hand right there to flip the thing uh, up. So there's a the guy's hand right there. One of the uh, structural things we have to fix is these legs are loose and all these little mushroom plugs are, are gone. I have new ones that we'll put back in there once we get it fixed. Now I got the legs off or a leg off, um, big, uh, held on with two screws. Big one goes in the top, small one goes in the bottom. Can't forget that. Okay, you can see the reason the leg failed uh, is the, the, you see the stain from the glue? Um, the glue has uh, failed. The reason these uh, mushroom hole plugs fail is because they don't, when they put them in, they don't put very much glue on. 
uh, because you want to be able to take them out. Sometimes they don't put glue on them at all. So I should be able to pull this one right out. Yep, came right out. I've got all new plugs to put in uh, once we get the legs reattached and uh, the uh, finish worked on. And what I've done is I've put a little mark. See that number one right there? And then I got a number two on that one and number three on that one. So I, I also put a corresponding mark on right there by the leg so I make sure I get the legs back in the same place. I'm going to have to do some light sanding. As you can see, we're down to bare wood um, in a lot of places on these legs. And same, same thing with the top. I'm also going to have to carefully sand the gluing surface here uh, so that my glue sticks. The lower level down here seems okay. I can just probably lightly sand that with the uh, uh, 300 sandpaper, 330 sandpaper. But the top is extremely rough. It's got uh, places where the we're down to bare wood, and it's extremely uh, stained with uh, some kind of plastic stuff. I'm gonna have to use my random orbit to get this thing at least at least uh, flat. <laughs> Here you can see the problem, the, uh, <clears throat> the stain and the finish on it and just completely deteriorated in all these uh, bare places. A few of them over here, but most of them are right here. Um, which tells me that maybe this thing was sitting against a, a window or a, uh, it was ex ex more exposed to the weather on this side. But this side right here was really bad. I'm going to restain these uh, these legs, the bottoms of them where the finish had deteriorated, but the rest of the leg I'm going to leave alone. I'm going to go ahead and reattach these legs using a little glue. I don't want a lot of glue on there because I don't want you to squeeze out. There we go. Just got to remember there's a big screw and a small screw. Big screw goes on the top. Well, so far the uh, leg repair is working. No squeeze out. With our little mushroom plugs, uh, you just put the very, very small amount of glue. I mean, just a dot of glue because you don't want these things to be, you know, you don't want to have to drill them out if you have to take them out. And, uh, matching the stain on this thing using a color called Carrington. It looks dark when you put it on, but I, then I immediately wipe it off and and it brings it back to its original color. And I'll do the same thing here on the uh, on the top What we're trying to do is kind of blend these two finishes together. So I'm really only staining, really directly only staining the, the, the bare wood.
Okay, let's wipe it down. See if we. Trying something different. I'm gonna spray a real light coat of polyurethane on it as the first coat. And then I'll sand it down and go from there. For this. Well, there it is, our little Ethan, Ethan Allen uh, double layer solid maple side table. We fixed the finished. We fixed the legs. We replaced those missing uh, uh, mushrooms plugs. Finished the, uh, had to refinish the legs because the finish was off. Had to replace some of the finish on the top. And overall, I'm pretty satisfied. That does it for another Memphis Monday, Memphis Monday 173, repairing the uh, Ethan Allen maple side tail uh, table. Uh, turns out we didn't have a, a lot to fix. We had some uh, finish issues. We had some missing parts, and uh, we tightened up the legs. So pretty quick and uh, dirty project, um, which is... Uh, Sometimes good for a break. I uh, hope you got some takeaways. Can't think of anything else. Like and favorite and share and all the stuff you do on the internet. But what's most important, make sure you're back here next week for another important, exciting Memphis Monday. Thanks for playing along.